I'm not really sure on how to start. Okay, so. And let's find area of A1, B1, C1, D1 in terms of A, B, C, D, or length of that. Suppose, for example, side length of this is A, which we know is 10, right? Yeah. Side length of this is what in terms of A? Well, that one. This one. For example, this side length of A1, B1 is what? I think it's like one sixth of A. This one, A, A1 is A over 6. This one is 5 over 6A, so this one is what? Square root 26 over 6A squared. A. A. Yes. So, what's the relationship between areas? Root 26 over 6. Exactly. Root, no, no, no. A area of first one is a squared. Area of this one is what? 26 over 36. Yes, if you simplify, it will be 13 over 18. a squared. So, can you guess that this one will be what area of this one? 169 over. Yes. 3, 2, 4. Yes, a squared, a squared, right? Next one is what? Next one is just to the 4. To, why to the 4? No, not to the 4. 13 over 18 to the what? a squared? Uh, 3. Yes, and so on. Okay. I'm just fine. And a squared is what? a squared is 100. Yes, now calculate this summation, okay? Uh, just plugging it into the formula, uh, you get 360. The answer is 360? Yeah. Okay, so let's check. It is 100 times 1 minus 13 over 18, right? 1. Right. So it will be 100 times 18. 18 minus 13 is 5. 20. So 360, right? Yeah. Okay, 